Electoral Reform Pressure Group Brisse says they will try to meet the Immigration Department's Director General next week after failing to secure an appointment today at his office in Putrajaya. The group wants to discuss the 6,564 Malaysians living abroad who will have their passports cancelled for allegedly tarnishing the nation's reputation overseas. Co-chairperson Ambigas Srinivasan says the group sent two letters seeking an appointment for today, but was told that Alias was at a meeting when they went to his office. One demand the group will make is for the Immigration Department to release the names of those on the blacklist. I think those who are on that list have a right to know if their names are there so that they can challenge it in court. Alia sparked fears that Malaysians who participated in rallies overseas may have their passports cancelled after reports emerged of the blacklist for Malaysians who had allegedly damaged the country's reputation. But he since clarified to Malaysia Kini that those who made it onto the list had mostly been convicted of crimes or had contravened immigration laws abroad and weren't simply those who participated in demonstrations. Ambiga, however, says she's heard stories that may suggest otherwise. Uh, we are also very concerned, we have got reports that there are people in the US, for example, they, had a, uh, they, were, they are aiming to have rallies, that the people in the US are also receiving threats based on what the uh, DG has said. Whether they are official, from official people or not, we don't know. But these threats t seem to say, look, you better not go to the rally, otherwise your passports will be revoked. Berse also wants Alias to clarify his comment that the decision to revoke the affected Malaysians' passports was based on case law. I cannot believe that there is any basis in law to revoke a person's passport just because they disagree with the government. Uh, that cannot be right. So these are the issues we want to clarify with the Director General. We also want to give him our view of the law. Berse says if it has to, it's prepared to take the matter up in court. Samisha Naidu, Kini TV.